that's an effect on the community to, to build it up and, and help the people that they would, they would not follow that course of lifestyle if there was something else that they could do. Well, do you think that the, the suggestion that they might go to prison is the best incentive for them to change? What other incentives are there for them to change? It has to be economics. It's not a change. They actually changed into that lifestyle. Originally, they were good people, good guys. No, that's not what. As you grow up, and keep no, the it is you keep taking you go for your job and you may turn you down because of a criminal record or a discrimination, which does exist. Then you have no other option and you feel forced to go a certain way. Sometimes you even brainwash yourself to be that person, and that's not you. So the change happened to that. And so that we need to, work. if we catch them before they change into going the bad route and by supplying another route, then we really get the problem all together. Right, let's look at the law enforcement part of this. Wendy, as someone who prosecutes these cases, do we need stronger laws? Do we have the right legal tools? I got a sorry ass camera. <laughs> I should keep going blurry as fuck. Is this sort of community partnership that we're doing today? I mean, more forms like this in the community does a couple of things. First of all, it, it dispels the myth of the not in my backyard syndrome. And yes, Let me get this stuff out in my backyard. It also raises community awareness by paying attention to what the laws say, what they cover, and what they don't cover. We hope that increases reporting. We hope that we partner with survivors and with organizations like Armand that are trying to promote okay. healthy lifestyles. We all partner together to make sure that we know that, unlike the documentary we watched last <laughs> night, human trafficking is invisible chains. Not everybody's a doctor like in the movie Pagan or some of the other documentaries. Some of the chains, chains of love, loyalty, which are much stronger than physical chains. So if we can work together by letting the community know that it does happen here, that San Diego remains a hot spot, will that have an impact on people who are willing to report the crime? We hope that it does, and we believe that an increase in reporting is partially responsible for the fact that we are seeing more people coming forward. It's also the fact that law enforcement is better equipped to know what to look for, to know where to look, to know what questions to ask, to know what terminology 